what do you think about Trudeau in Canada? This guy is a kid, but this is telling you that the Canadians are a bunch of kids too. When your prime minister is a kid, you're a kid. I mean, the Canadians are so silly to the point Trudeau is their prime minister. No comment. A bunch of dummies. You know, it's like imagine you have a group of people, you say to them, choose for us the smartest between you to be your leader. And then they choose the, the most stupid one, the most awkward, a hippie boy. But this is telling me not about the prime minister, telling me that the Canadian themselves, they have a mental, mental problem. And not only that, this guy, he never loses. He keep winning, keep winning, keep winning. Like the Canadian, they're convinced that he's a good guy. George Bush? George Bush is a big donkey, same. You see, when I came to the state, I thought about some names in a, in, a, in a better way. Like I used to think McCain is a hero. George Bush is a good man. Trump, this is new. Trump was, you know, the, the, the solution, uh, etc. But then I discovered that all of them are the same material, are a bunch of a scumbag. You know, I love this country, so I joined the army, right? But then I noticed that the poor American go to the army, they get nothing. Do you know how much the salary of, an, of a soldier in USA? You will love. Honest to God, you will love. Go check it in the internet. Imagine I paid the first day I arrived to the training center. You have to shave your hair. I paid $7. I paid. Can, can you believe it? You just joined the American army. And you have to pay to shave your head. It's not a style, you know, it's a zero. You know, like, a, you know, it's a soldier. Seven dollars. Then I received the first batch of uh, salary. There's a long list. Those who serve in the army, they knew what I'm talking about. It says socks, jacket, underwear, pants, hat, shoes. It turned to be I have to pay for them. Can you believe it? They took all those things from my salary, which is very small. If you go anywhere in the Middle East, you don't pay anything when you join the army. And those are Middle East. Even the food. It says at set of money taken from your salary for the food. They, they have a list where the money is gone. So Trump, he have a jet, they are living their life. And then you go and you volunteer in the army and you go to war and you lose your limp, you lose your uh, hand, you lose your arm, you lose your leg. And then they give you 2,000, 3,000 and you come back home broken and nobody care for you. And they say to you, thank you for your service. It's reality. Somebody saying, so why don't you go to the Middle East? I don't know, Terry, you are being stupid, my friend. I did not leave the Middle East because I did not, you know, like, because I would go back because they give me free chow in the, in the army. This is the reason to go back. I was making a point that an American soldier is not treated nicely. And you are stupid. So why you don't go to the Middle East CP? Just, just the stupid people. You remind me of my cousin. He went to the logic school and he learned that the one who have a chain his mother, she have a house, she have a dog, she take care of the house, so she is a good woman. And then when he went out of the class, he asked the first one in, this, in, this, in the street, do you have a chain? He said, no. He said, your mother is a whore. So why you don't go back to the Middle East CP? Here you see the stupid, you know, the, the, the average mentality of people who listen to you. We are trying to explain to you that American soldiers, those who you see them wearing sunglasses, boots, they look nice. They are not treated nice. They are not. They don't give them good salary. Do you know how many hours you work as a soldier? All day. There's no, there's no off. There's no off. 24 hours. If you work 24 hours, any job, you will make a lot of money. So you go to the army. You work 24 hours and they give you $3,000. Maybe now four or five, I'm not sure. 
but you are working 24 hours and you have no life. You can't even go decide to go and see your wife. You don't decide where to go, where to stay, where to live for the coming 20 years. And then they treat you like a donkey. Yet, the presidents and the senators and the Congress is the one who decide where to go and what to do with you. So you are being used. Uh, why uh, you always debate Eastern about wake? Anyone understand what this guy is saying? Why you always debate question about weak? What does that mean? Is that English? Yeah, so anyway, uh, this is why actually now the American army, they have a very difficult time to recruit people to the army. They don't. And then they want to force you to have Corona vaccine, you know. So, so Christians, they felt like, well, what? and not only that, they force homosexuality on the army. So as someone he is a Christian, and this is the majority of the American, he will not go to the army. He will not. This is what he's. Not, this is not what he signed for. Joe Biden he put the the gay flag on the White House. What does it have to do with the White House? Is that the White House or the White of Gays? Aren't you president of America? How you replace the flag of the country by a flag of sex? This is about sex. How people have sex. 